everyone, I've got a few things to share with you today. Uh, the first thing I'm going to show you is my Gabby Gabby doll and I've done a little bit of a sort of a, an overview of how I did her so I'll add that in here now. So the first thing I did was to remove all of Anna's eyes and mouth with acetone. Next I sprayed her with Mr Super Clear. This provides a good base for your pencils to draw the features on. Next, I used some of my coloured pencils. I have some Derwent Ink Tense pencils that I use. And I also use some Faber-Castell pencils, pencils. And I use those just to draw in the features um, on her eyes and just to draw an outline of her lips so that I know where to paint because I will paint her features on with acrylic paint. Also I use Faber-Castell soft pastels, I use those for the cheeks. To paint her features on I'll just use basic cheapy acrylic paint. You can see here that I've drawn in her eye outline. That's where I'm going to paint in with the acrylics. And I've also done a little bit of her mouth. Here's her eyes already painted in. I'm not the best, but I'm quite happy with that. I think they look pretty good. Next, I painted some Liquitex um, gloss varnish over the eyes and mouth. Then I used this fabric that I got from eBay to make her a little dress. And to make the pattern, I used Anna's dress to draw around some paper and cut out the pieces I needed. Um, remember to add in your seam allowances to the pieces. Here I've got the front, the back and the collar. I also made her some little hair bows, which you can see there. I gave her some false eyelashes just to make her eyes stand out a bit better and look a bit more like Gabby Gabby. Here's her finished dress, which I'm very, very happy with, really pleased with that. Her little socks I made from baby socks and her shoes were from AliExpress. So all in all, I'm really pleased with her. I hope you like her too. Next, I've got some of the dolls that my friend Trevor sent me. I've cleaned and dressed them. So we've got this little girl. She's in a little suit that Trevor sent me previously and it fits her really well. She looks really cute in that, doesn't she? So that's her. Then I've got this little girl. Well, actually, this is the this is the little boy. It's not a girl. It's a boy. Definitely a boy. So I found him this little cardigan and these I put him in the spotty trousers that Trevor sent me. So that's him. <laughs> He's cute, isn't he? He's a cute doll. He reminds me a bit of a tiny tears and he, he is a drink and wet doll. So, yeah, that's him. Then this little girl, she's wearing the little dress that Trevor sent and she's got on the little booties as well that Trevor sent and they fit her really nicely. They're really cute. They are. So that's her. And then Trevor also sent me this build a bear dress. And what I did, I popped it on her inside out, pinned it to fit her and then sewed down the sides. And I also had to pin across the shoulders and sew across there too. But you can see that it fits her really nicely now and it looks good on her, doesn't it? So that, yeah, that's a build a bear dress that I've uh, altered to fit. She's an, an our generation doll, so. <laughs> Really pleased with that, yeah. Looks good, doesn't it? Someone did um, suggest in the comments that I did that, so there you are, I've done it. And it was easy to do as well. Next, I have some of the clothes sent to me by the lovely Katie. And what I've done, I've done the little bits of stitching, the little bits of repairs that they needed. So there was that one. There's this little dress here, it just needed a bit of a wash. This little night dress, I needed to just sew that collar back on there. And then the lovely Cindy top. This is a vintage Cindy top. I've been told by a few people that that is. And it just had a little hole here, which I've just stitched. So really pleased with those. Next, my lovely friend Dale sent me some 
Wonder Woman outfits. So I've had some from Wonder Woman outfits from Ian and I've also had some from Dale. So thank you for that, Ian and Dale. And uh, we've dressed them in these, dressed these girls in them. She is the wheelchair fashionista. And then this girl is a basic uh, beach barber. You can see she's got her painted on cosy under there. Yeah, me and my little grandson dressed these yesterday. <laughs> Wanted to dress them as soon as they arrived, so we did. And they also came with some little bags. There's that little clutch one, and then there's this. Love that beach bag. That's really nice, isn't it? So that was those. Also, I've been doing my AliExpress Lego for anyone that's interested. I've done the little, this is the little makeup shop you can see it's got little lipsticks it's got a little person down the bottom there it's got a bow on the top looks a little bit like hello kitty inside there you can see there's all the potions and things for the and the little lipsticks and things yeah it's really and look at the lights on the ceiling yeah <laughs> really intricate aren't they so there's that one and then i also have done this one which is the clothing one so I've got that one to do I've also got two more to do and then I shall have six of them and I shall join them all together to make the street so I'll show you when I've got that done then I bought some from eBay I bought some pants and vests for the 18 inch dolls so here they are little pant the little pants and vest sets i think they were 350 a set so there's those for the 18 inch dolls and then there's these that are for like a smaller size doll i really like the pink dotty fabric so i ordered uh, ordered them the same for each doll but yeah they're cute aren't they and i thought they looked really nice so pleased with those then at the car boot at the weekend, I found a few dolls which I'm going to send to my friend Trevor. So I've got him a shoe shoe doll here. She's wearing a Build-A-Bear outfit, so I shall take that off because I know Trevor only likes the proper, <laughs> the proper zap clothing for his doll. So I'll, I might as well keep that, haven't I? I found this little jacket for one of my dolls. That's a cute, look how pretty that is. It's a cute little jacket, isn't it? The little butterflies on it, really pretty that is. I also found another one for him. So that's two that will be winging their way to Trevor. It's his birthday next month, so I shall pop them in with his card. I found this little dolly dress, which I thought was really good for 50p, a little uh, Barbie or Cindy dress. That was really nice for 50p, I thought. I found some brat shoes and I bought these to send to Kim because I, at Kim's Dolls because I know she's got some, she's in need of some uh, brat shoes. So I bought those to send to Kim. And I got this little dolly suit. <laughs> These were a pound. There was a lady on the indoor market who was selling them for a pound and I thought that was a, a really good price. It doesn't have any make in it, so I'm assuming it's not an official, it hasn't got any um, labels on it, but it zips up and Velcros too. Cute little suit there for like a baby born size doll. I found this little set for a doll. It was 50p. Pants and top look at that how cute is that and i thought that would fit some of my baby size dolls and actually i bought two of those because they were 50 pence a set and the lady that was selling them had had twins so i bought one for me and one to give to rosie for her dolls i found these little pram shoes they were 50p which i thought would go on my um hello kader doll so I thought, you know, I didn't find hundreds of things, but I found a few and I was pleased with what I found. So yeah, that was my car boot finds. So yeah, that was my dolly business for today. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.